Tom Tyler as Captain Marvel and Frank Codlin Jr. as Billy Batson appeared in 1941's 12-chapter black and white movie serial, Adventures of Captain Marvel. Shazam! Billy Batson, a radio broadcaster, is transformed into a hero named Captain Marvel by the wizard Shazam when he stumbles upon the camp of an expedition led by Malcolm Arceus. Of course, since there was no copyright issue with DC Comics and Marvel at that time, the character's name was Captain Marvel, not Shazam. But in the greedy hands of men like Bentley, it would have become a symbol of death. In each chapter of the 12-part movie serial, Captain Marvel tries to prevent Scorpion and his agents from obtaining the parts of the Golden Scorpion scattered around the city. The captain faced various difficulties while trying to thwart Scorpion's plans, but with the support of his mentor Shazam and his friends Betty and Whitey, he found a way out of all the problems. Captain Marvel, played by Jackson Bostwick in Season 1 and John Davey in Seasons 2 and 3, with Billy Batson played by Michael Gray, appeared in 1974 in the 1974 to 1976 half-hour live-action television program Shazam. But don't you think you ought to notify the authorities rather than trying to tackle that yourself? This series tells the adventures of Billy Batson, who receives the powers of the gods from an old wizard and can become Captain Marvel. In each episode, Billy traveled the United States of America in a Winnebago with his mentor and helping people in need. Mentor, where's your sense of adventure? Well, I'm... All right. Lead the way, Captain Marvel. Sometimes when faced with more complex problems, Billy becomes Captain Marvel and tries to solve the problem. And sometimes, he gives moral advice and counseling to people who have come out of difficult situations and helps them to make better choices. Billy Batson, played by John Davey, first appeared only as Captain Marvel in 1975 in the 1975 to 1976 series, The Secrets of Isis. Thank you, Captain Marvel. Well, I do. Just don't get into a situation where I'll have to do this again. The Captain makes cameo appearances in Episode 12 of Season 1, a.k.a. Funny Gal, Episode 6 of Season 2, a.k.a. Now You See It, and Episode 7 of Season 2, a.k.a. And Now You Don't. Captain Marvel! Isis sent for me. Now let's see about getting you out of here. Captain Marvel, who appears as a cameo in all three episodes, is simply called the pawn when help is needed either by hearing the voice of Isis or by Tut the Minor Bird. As in the Shazam series, the captain solves problems by relying on the power of the gods and gives moral advice to the people he saves. Billy Batson, played by Garrett Craig, appeared only as Captain Marvel in 1979's television special series, Legends of the Superheroes. Captain Marvel appeared in both episodes of this two-part series. Captain Marvel. Did your parents give you that name, or did you pick it when you bought the outfit? The series begins with retired heroes gathering at the Hall of Heroes to celebrate their retirement. One of these heroes, Captain Marvel, when the Legion of Doom, led by his archenemy Dr. Savannah, shows up and causes trouble, he and others set out to stop it. My good man, don't you see you're looking for a lake? A lake? Yes. Then I better get going. There must be a hundred lakes in this area. In this story, Captain Marvel is portrayed as good-natured and a little naive. Also, given the lack of special effects in this series, we can say that a superhero like Captain Marvel is overshadowed. But at least we see the strength of Hercules here. Just look inside your super mind. Captain Marvel makes a cameo appearance in 2001 in the 1995 to 2004 television sitcom series, The Drew Carey Show. Hey, I'm having a party at my house. Flyers only. The captain, played by John Valdetero, encounters the comatose Drew and invites him to a party at his house. This takes place in the 15th episode of Season 6, Drew's in a Coma. Zachary Levi as Shazam and Asher Angel as Billy Batson, who lives in DC Extended Universe, appeared in 2019's movie, Shazam. Shazam! Billy Batson, who tries to find his birth mother and takes different paths to do so, is championed by Shazam the Wizard and becomes the superhero named Shazam. 
In this movie, the hero, already known as Shazam instead of Captain Marvel, tests the limits of his power with his foster brother Freddie Freeman and tries to find out what his abilities are. Gandhi Somebody like Gandhi said that. It was a really why it might have been Yoda. Once again, we see that being a superhero is not easy, as Shazam faces various obstacles, namely Dr. Savannah and seven deadly enemies of man. Billy started by helping ordinary people and later formed the Shazam family, giving his foster siblings the power of Shazam to fight against supervillains and super creatures. Zachary Levi as Shazam and Asher Angel as Billy Batson, who lives in DC Extended Universe, appeared in 2023's movie, Shazam, Fury of the Gods. What the hell? What the hell is going on? What happened to her beautiful face? Also, aren't you like dead-ass dead? In this sequel to Shazam, Billy Batson tries to face the fear that he will soon come of age and lose his family again. As Shazam, he faces new enemies, Hespera and Calypso, and their various mythical creatures. I know I, I age out soon. <laughs> My wonderful, kind, brave son. Billy fights back with the support of the Shazam family and is recognized as God by his enemy. Michael Gray, who plays the second Billy Batson, appears here as an ordinary person and calls out to Shazam. You're the best, Captain Marvel. In Fury of the Gods, Captain Marvel, or rather Shazam, is trying to improve himself both as a superhero and as a young man. Billy Batson, played by Zachary Levi, appeared as Shazam in 2023 in the 2018 to 2023 series, Titans, when we see scenes from the multiverse. In this scene, Shazam tries to fly away from Dr. Savannah in 2019. 